A group of students just finished an activity. They looked closely at the work of art America by Glenn Ligon. They each wrote down a few words about what the artwork meant for them, and then they shared their thoughts with the group. Um, when I saw this, it kind of reminded me of a poem I read called Ozymandias, and it was about um, this statue that was in the middle of the desert, and it said, like, I'm king of everything, and it's in the middle of the desert, so it's not really king of anything. And like America, we think we're so powerful, and we think we're so great and everything, but like, are we really, like, yeah, we have government power, and yeah, we have like power in the world, but like, if you come down to like the citizens and like people, what, what do we really have to say about that? Because like, there's so much, um, like dispute, and like there's so much fighting. Like, yeah, maybe on the surface we look really nice, but when it comes down to the people, it's not. So I wrote where do we stand, and then I wrote where do I stand. Um, going in there is very humbling experience for me. I get sometimes so caught up in me being a woman in America and my sexual identity and all these things in America. And um, But the fact is, like, I'm not going to experience the same hardships as other people who have different facets of their identity that is being prosecuted on a more um, groundbreaking level. When I saw the picture first, I just saw America in bright lights and, like, People from other countries might see, oh, America, it's like the best thing ever. You want to like live there because it's land free, but really, when you look down below, it's a bunch of nothing. I guess I think of like America as like putting up a front, mm -hmm. of like putting up, putting on the show. And I also wrote freedom, like uh, in the question mark, because I kind of think about it, and it's just like a lot of people like to advocate, like or like try to express that, like America is like home of the free, and you get all these like opportunities and all these rights but it's just like only a certain um, type of person can be able to get that type of freedom like you know we never talk about like sexual orientation like um, cultural diversity do we get those same freedoms do we are we treated equally as America says that we are are we really free America is being broadcast to us in a um, disillusioned way in a way uh, that's very not authentic that is um, an idealization of where we live and how people in our world are treated based, or our country are treated based on who they are, their identities. Mm -hmm. It made me think of like going back into the past. So like I wrote up there, yeah, the American dream and like how it's not as nice as they seem, they think it is, especially after like the Civil War and then there was the art revolution of the Harlem Renaissance in like the 20s. And that made me think of that because like the art style is kind of similar to that because everyone's all about trying to be successful even though nothing is really going to help them get successful and it's not possible to be successful because the huge gap between the different races but it also kind of symbolizes hope because they're connected like the badness of the ground is connected to the brightness and the happiness happiness of the america so there's still hope but like it's really difficult to get there because they're really thin wires that can be easily snapped and i think that's kind of how I, like we should see america like through years of you know, when we started with Great Britain, being under rule, we gained our independence, slavery, civil rights, and then up to today where we have an African-American president, I feel like we've gone from the bottom up. And although some of our traditions and a lot of our views are blurred, that's kind of represented with the wires, I think, uh, we still have hope for the future, like you said. Yeah, I agree with that. When I look at that, I kind of think of the hope that there is in that picture. I also think of, like, vastness and what vastness brings is sometimes opportunities to, to grow. I mean, the, like, when people think of America, they think of opportunity. They have the opportunity to grow as people, to grow in, you know, what they want to be when they grow up. So that's that's what that picture kind of reminded me of. Well, I've kind of uh, I've taken a couple of little things out of, a, especially this conversation. One of them is, I should have, uh, I probably should have looked a little deeper. Because <laughs> I, 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 I saw America and, it, like, all, and like, the first thing I thought of America was like a, um, like spirit, like like oh USA, like that's I drew the um, the like flag and the USA in bubble letters, like I, I got like it's like seeing America, it's like like on the surface you want to be like really excited about it, but um, like especially after this conversation, like like on the surface like we can be seen as like excited, but almost even like. Like this could be false sense of um, 
confidence almost as like a uh, way of like hiding our uh, problems deeper down, I guess, it, especially like in a, a country and yeah, that's, I mean, especially from the conversation, that's really what I took away. We just heard a lot of different viewpoints inspired by a single work of art, and the students drew on their experiences to develop their own perspectives. Did you notice what happened when they listened to each other? The students exchanged and built on one another's ideas, deepening their perspectives in the process. 